Hello guys, this is Dr. Salam and welcome back to Radiant Clicks Lifestyle channel. In this video, I am going to give you the complete details about the new latest SYNC 3.4 features and how to jailbreak the SYNC 3.4 and, uh, and we are uh, detailing about the complete digital cluster of Ford as well. And we have incorporated that Ford new digital cluster into Ford EcoSport diesel model. Actually, this is the first and one and only uh, digital cluster in uh, diesel EcoSport. As you know, Jidin, one of my friend, he is the right person to guide you in all this. So he will describe all the features, all the parameters, all the possibilities, all the costing. Everything will be discussed in the video. So stay tuned till the very end of this video. Good evening, everyone. I am Jitin here, who owns the Ford EcoSport. Well, this is uh, not my first Echo Sport, but the second one. And uh, some of you all might have already noticed my video and uh, had quite a few doubts or thoughts about what we can do to an Echo Sport. Yeah. The fun fact is, I bought the Echo Sport after Ford announced its exit in 2021. So, in Jan 2022, I was very keen on picking up an Echo Sport only. Not because there was no other car in the market, but I couldn't find that kind of a package in any of the cars under 30 lakhs. So that's why I ended up picking an Echo Sport again. And it's been a faithful companion for the past one year. And I've driven almost every state in India. And it has never given up on me. And that, that's, that's about my car. And if you see about the mods I have done, there are some differences compared to the earlier car. Like you see with the grill up front over here, which I had got it done from 6th Mile Customs. Let me just show you how it lights up. Yeah, so this is a grill which I had custom made it. So the grill cost me about 8,500 rupees, including the Shelby logo and the marker lights as well as the mesh. So the grill uh, is broken down into two parts. First, you get the Raptor grill, which is commonly available for the Echo Sport. Then I cut that, made a custom mesh and then did it. So this was done in 6 Mile Customs, Indranagar. So that's about the grill. And going forward, you can see this applique as well here which is found only on the Echo Sport Thunder Edition. So this one I had sourced it from Chennai for about 3,000 rupees. So this is a direct fit. But again, you get two parts in this. One is the domestic and the international one. You need to make sure that you use only the uh, domestic variants applique to this. Otherwise, the bumper applique will not sit over here. And it's a bolt-on replacement. You don't need any additional parts. Yeah, and if you see, there are certain black dot elements in my car. Uh, for instance, the wheels. I had source the wheels from a Thunder variant from a fellow EcoSport owner uh, in exchange with the 17-inch alloys which my Titanium Plus had and then I added TPMS as well along with the wheels and then going on to the upper part of the car I've painted the roof black and I've got the uh, hand, uh, this one, uh, crossbars as well as the uh, whole roof, ra roof rails so roof rails also are painted in black and the crossbars I purchased separately and if you see at the back portion, maybe lay at the later part of the video, I have installed a spoiler too. So that's about the exterior of the car. And yeah, I have not done anything else apart from that with respect to the exteriors. And yeah, most notable thing is where I have done a remap from Wolf, which is a stage one plus remap. So the power and torque figures, I will give you the dyno test results as well. So the power what it gives out currently is about 133 PS of power and 295 Nm of torque at the crank and at the wheel it is about 125 PS and uh, 275 Nm torque which is pretty uh, good for this uh, for a car of this size and yeah I never struggled anywhere as such the car was just jumping around when I went on the slopes of Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh and most of the trips have been done solo in this car so I never faced any issues or any mechanical breakdowns or any electronic breakdowns as such except for a battery uh, drain issue because the battery was old Apart from that, car has been super reliable and yeah, don't worry about the spares. Spare, Ford will commit to give spares for the next 10 years. And this is a global car and a global engine. You will get spare parts from anywhere across the globe. So, need not worry about the spares. Compared to the competition, I think this car is much better. Because at four to 5,000 rupees, I don't think any car can be serviced uh, in the present scenario. Because that's the cost of a two-wheeler service itself these days. And, and that's... All the more reason why I'm keeping another Ford at home. Well, that's about the exterior. Maybe we can move on to the interiors now. So, here, this is the interior of my car. Uh, you would notice that the AC bezel is missing. The reason being because I got the European spec EcoSport uh, AC cluster which supports voice control and heated seat functions. 
and if you see the steering as well i have changed it to the focus uh, st uh, line steering which is again imported from the uk and it has a flat bottom steering and this has a much more cleaner orientation of the switches like you can see the entire cruise control switches as well as the volume and mute functions are here the stock steering does not have mute function whereas this one has mute maybe i'll show you an example so you can mute it also it will work on all modes be it radio usb as well as uh, android auto and now you see the digital speedometer so i i got this from a salvaged ford puma so the lcd was broken when i received the speedometer so what i had done is i changed the lcd of the speedometer by dismantling it completely and a lot of people had helped me in sourcing the parts and that's how the digital speedometer is in place in my car and i'd be more than happy happy to say that this is one of the few diesel eco sports on the planet to have a digital digital speedometer which is fully functional and you can see on the ed edges of the speedometer you have the fuel and the temp gauges which are neatly laid out on a blue background and the rpm and this meter is customizable as well to the st theme which i'll be working on soon and the rpm needle is on the right compared to the left what we have in our stock meters and uh, you can hover across five to seven screens over here so the tpms comes up here launch control which is yet to be worked on it's a pretty tough mod to work on the launch control but some day soon i'll get there and this is the trip stats so usually you'll get uh, four quadrants for the trip uh, statistics that includes your distance to empty since the distance to empty is placed over here so you'll get the total distance the average fuel as well as the total time taken and you can also go above and select the screen you can select up to seven screens you can get all these functions here and yeah audio since i switched off audio so you can select the audio sources as well from here so these are the audio sources navigation yes since i have a gps nav so and the navigation directions also will pop up right here so when i connect to my android auto so the when i connect to my android auto the navigation direction will come on the top right where my finger is pointed right so here the google maps direction will be uh, pointed at and now if you check on the phone yes i can make calls this is again something similar to the existing meter on the sports and the yes, settings pretty much straightforward vehicle the these are all the usual settings what you see on every meter and coming forward to the sync 3 screen let us see how that uh, that integrates as well so if you see the display of this digital speedo you can also set it at miles per hour as well as the kmh both the speeds will be appearing together but i would suggest to retain the kmh so that there's no confusion and yes languages yeah since this is again a european spec vehicle there are only three languages english spanish and french so that's about the meter in general and uh, additionally we can also get the gear number to be working on the rpm which i'm working on since i got the meter just a couple of days ago i'm yet to explore the complete potential of the meter and now let us see how it's integrated with the sync and how it seamlessly looks just a moment you see now set the temperature to 21 degrees let's try it one more time as a reminder set temperature to 21 degrees setting temperature to 21 degrees well yeah after a lot of tries the accent is a challenge to get this thing working sometimes it works in one go sometimes we'll need to keep trying multiple times well that's the nuance of using the foreign spec systems anyway to cut the short uh, cut the long story start short let us go further and see how the temperature of the climate control also comes up on the sync screen so i'm working next on the dual zone ac and here i can control 
the temperature as well as well and decrease it i can set it up at auto and this has three levels of automatic ac low high and medium so basically our blower speed is adjusted in three speeds as opposed to the single speed in our stock ac pan and then yeah, recirculation and even you can use the max ac since i have given the cooled seats option but i'm yet to get the uh, physical seat for the cooling seats yet so that's why you will see these cool seats option too that's about it so dual zone will not work until i get a dual zone controller so which is on its way and even you have an option for heated mirrors as well as steering steering i disabled because in india you don't require a heated steering at the moment that's about it and rest of the sync functions are pretty much the same and yeah you can see this here so this is again a rarity in an eco sport a native inbuilt gps for the sync 3 so what i've done here is i've used a used endeavor ap module which is also known as a sync module and then recalibrated it to the specifics of eco sport and the mem memory board which you need to look at for this particular feature to work is minimum of 32 gb without which the navigation function will not work but however you can use even android auto and apple carplay regardless of the memory size of the sync 3 board well, that's about that yeah and the navigation is quite intuitive maybe i can take you across different menus so there are a lot of things to do in this so it will give you the country's information you can choose the country and the details suppose if you are traveling abroad by car so you can just check over here for example croatia shows the speed limit the emergency call, phone call number the country code number as well as all the road rules and regulations are given here well this is something which is quite cool i have never seen this in any other car till now which where it gives the country's info on its road rules and traffic regulations quite fancy isn't it so that's about that so it has almost all the countries in the list so let us see for our own country so this is how it is well the rules are pretty lean and yeah so sunrise and sunset time also we will show the current location sunrise sunset only thing is it does not show live traffic but apart from that i think everything else is pretty intuitive in this so you can just set i just set one address for reference so it will show the route info similar to google maps the route info time as well as the distance travel and you can also set it in 2d or 3d and the interesting part is when you go on flyovers or any huge buildings or beside you that animation also is seen in this pretty well and that's about that and yeah there are a lot of settings and what not in the navigation so you can just set it to as much uh, as your convenience but yeah let us discuss more on this on another video because this is quite an elaborate topic on the navigation so i'll like to keep it short and that's about that and yeah so many people have been asking for the custom background so first of all you need to unlock your sync 3 using f uh, using cn labs and then uh, certain tools like f mods only then you can unlock the background so here you can see i can even use the calm screen so this is how the calm screen works and if you press the uh, display uh, blank button one more time the display goes blank and then to set the custom background there is a format called as customer backgrounds like this okay c should be in small and the b should be in capital without spaces and then you need to put in two folders in that day and night and once you put in that you can just plug your pen drive and then click on add over here and then you can choose any background what you want to use so i usually prefer this built for tough this is the background i use and the image format might be jpeg or jpg preferably the size is between 800 to 480 or you can go with 800 by 400 to maybe i will give the exact size in the description as well so that you can uh, get it done accurately so this is about the sync 3 what i have and yeah to top it off the reverse camera can be used as a monitor too but only in the first gear it works like say up to a speed of uh, 10 to 15 kmh that's about it and yes 
one more thing i forgot to mention was in the speedo on the top right corner like if you are connected on the, if you are connected to audio you will be getting uh, so like for instance you will be getting the radio or the music information so this is how it displays and yes that's about the speedometer as well as the sync uh, module so all right thank you all and before ending i would say you can retain the eco sport without any worry it's a brilliant car and ford does give support for the next 7 to 8 years at least in my opinion and parts are not a problem for this vehicle since it's a global car parts are in abundance and even in india it sold a lot so don't worry about the parts enjoy the car because i think this is one of the last generations where we can get to enjoy such pure unadulterated diesel vehicles and turbo petrols because the next decade is going to be with evs and yeah someday i'm looking forward for ford to come back to india and i wish i whatever i wish whatever i can in my capacity to help out ford to get back on its feet feet here but yeah till then let us see and explore more about our eco sport it's truly a brilliant car like i think on the south side of 30 lakhs this kind of modularity and uh, ease of uh, access is pretty difficult the only car which i have seen which has close to eco sport in terms of mods is polo but yeah eco sport sets the bar again high and apart from eco sport i've been working on the mustang as well as the endeavor so even in the mustang i've been working to enable launch cut control which i was successful partially but yes i will get get to that soon so mod potential is immense for a ford vehicle unlike uh, how we used to think previously So my next couple of mods like I mentioned would be the dual zone AC on an Eco Sport and you can also relay the TPMS as well as certain telemetry values such as the engine and coolant temperature on the Sync 3 screen which I am working on again so that module can be compatible for Eco Sport Endeavor as well as Mustang so yeah if any any one of you all have any doubts on any Fords like right from your Figo all the way up to the Mustang I'd be more than happy to help you all out. And yep, uh, free, uh, cruise in uh, freestyle does work for the petrol one and for the diesel. I'm working on it. I think as soon as I work on it, I will definitely uh, share a video on how it works. And looking forward for all of you all to support our community as well as the car which we own. So I would say you guys have a gold with you. Please do not give it away at any cost till the vehicle goes to scrap. I know it's a little bit of a fanboy statement but to be honest there is no other vehicle which can match this under this price point and this package that's all I would say thank you so much Dr Sadam for giving me an opportunity to uh, interview with you on my car and yep looking forward for more videos and support from our community just and yeah before closing it off the mods whatever I did I would I'm doing are on my car and i uh, do not take any external help or support from people as others may think and i would not do these mods for everyone as well i would do it only if i know the person personally or if the person comes through a reference of my uh, reference of theirs whom i know personally only then i would be entertaining for the mods if not i would strongly recommend against it because it's out of my own interest what i'm doing on this car it's not for any commercial purpose or business intent i hope you all respect that and that's the intent of it and yes i would be giving the cost of every mod what i've done on my car in the description as well so that it will be easier for you all to plan out on how to budget for your mod as well as how to help definitely i can give you all guidance and support on every mod what i do but like i said i cannot be doing the mod for every one of you all unless i know the person personally that's all i have folks thank you all see you soon hope you guys like this video and if you like this video please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram as well and in the next video we are coming up with the conversion of fly audio to sync 3 and the new facelift as well so stay tuned till the next video take care and bye bye